Hey all, Russ here over here, TB, welcome. Check it out. We're going to head out to the desert. I've been getting tons of emails asking what it's looking like out here at the long-term visitor areas. So this morning, we're going to go check her out. Friday. I'm going to be doing a sneak preview of the big tent. Stay tuned for that video too. Today is Wednesday, January 17th. We're going to cut through here. This is called La Posa West. It's a LTVA long term visitor area. These are fee based. 180 bucks, I think, gets you six months. $40 will get you uh, two weeks. And these are filling up fast. And you can just see it's RV after RV tents, people camping cars, trucks, you name it, school buses. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of everything. And you can see it is a dust bowl. There's so much traffic out here that this uh, dirt, good old desert gravel, just turns into like a fine powder. And within uh, a few more days when these deserts fill all the way up, watch this. I mean, doesn't matter how fast, when you're walking you create this dust. There'll be one big dust cloud over this whole area. So, if you have allergies or anything like that, be careful out here. There's another happy camper pulling in. Tons of groups, people from all over the country come here every year in January for the shows. It's very cool. They meet and greet. A lot of them are groups, different trailer groups like Winnebago's, Airstreams, uh... Casitas, the little casita trailers, truck campers, the big uh, motorhomes, the big prevos. There's usually a group of 60 or 70 of them that'll circle up out here. We'll, we'll do this again uh, after the show starts. Now here we'll be switching from La Posa West over to Tyson Wash LTVA. And then we'll cut over to La Posa South check them too. Then if you're tent camping you have to stay within I think it's uh, 500 feet or so of their uh, restroom. There's a dumpster. Look how full they are. I mean it's just a ton of people, ton of trash. It's all good, I mean, they clean it up. But they have big dumpsters. That's part of your fees out here. You have trash, uh, sewer dumps, and water. Don't drink the water. <laughs> it's okay to bathe in, but don't drink that stuff. Okay, you're gonna make a left up this dirt road. <laughs> We're actually in Tyson Wash, LTVA, right now. Matter of fact, the government. They've been building a brand new facility up here. To get water, all kinds of stuff. And the, the project, I guess, got stalled out. I don't know. I'm not sure of all the details. 
but it's just a lot of square miles and nothing but camping. This is what it's like. If you're going to come out here, you're going to see what it is. Here's part of it. They started working on this last winter. And I heard it's water issues. They're having a hard time hitting water, drilling those wells. Who knows? But, there you go. They'll figure it out. That's a lot of money. They Got a big evaporator pond, everything out here. Because right now everything's across the road. I'm going to post this south. And each one of these camp areas has a uh, little shack where you check in, pay your money, pay your fees, get your permits to camp. thousands plus these permits they're good in other areas besides quartzite down at Perial Dam in Yuma over in California there's seven or eight different places that you can use this so you're just not stuck here and uh, quartzite There's a look. See all those little white dots? <laughs> those are RVs. They're going to be everywhere. I mean, people are flocking to town. Show doesn't even start till uh, Saturday. Tyson Wild Salarama starts Friday. And they all run in conjunction with each other. But there's that evaporator pond way out. See how they cut the road. We just came up that road. They've really changed the landscape. There's Q Mountain, way off in the distance. Community of Q Mountain. And there's the big tent. Still looks big way out here, doesn't it? Down below is Highway 95. Head Heading south to go down to Yuma, straight north up towards Parker. Then straight across here is La Posa South. And this is where majority of people like to come because this is where all the sewer water is. And you'll see more groups out at this one and that goes way out matter of fact we're going to drive all the way out through there out towards those mountains why not Okay, let's pull on in. We'll cut through La Posa South. 
then head out towards the mountains and just do a big loop. Dusty Nuggets working good today. See, there's one of those little shacks, office, wherever you want to call it. It's where you pay and get your uh, stickers. They give you stickers for your windows. Once again, you can either get the long six month pass or two weeks. And wow, they paved this road here. This used to be all dirt. That's a game changer for the dust because the traffic out here is, <laughs> it's busy. See off to the right, there's a little restroom. Oh, look at that doggies. <laughs> that guy's heading up here to the sewer dump. Wow, look at all the solar on that motor home. Now he's got power. Something like that, you could run an air conditioner probably. And here's your line to use the facilities out here. There's a always a line for it but that's part of your fees that's why you pay fees you can use it so I'm sure they're anxious to open the other one on the other side of the road there's more dumpsters and you can get water up here Just as far as you can see, more and more RVs, and it's going to get fuller. A lot of homemade rigs, too. It's always cool to see what people come up with. It's pretty ingenious, really. What they can convert into a camper, and why not? It's fun. With solar now, you can do so much to live off-grid. Perfect. I'll just cut through one of the neighborhoods here. <laughs> Give you an idea what it's like. This is off the main uh, little road. There's washes everywhere. You don't want to camp in the wash in case heavy rains. People take rocks, line out their little camp area. and just camp with friends or by themselves. Even vendors that work in town, they'll camp out here. That's a nice setup there, big old fifth wheel. Got his buggy. Everyone flies their flags, that's cool. Oh my goodness, look at all the rock. This guy built him a fence. Huh. And it's first come, first serve. You don't guarantee, there's no reservations. You're not guaranteed anything. Someone spent a lot of time doing that. Anyway, this kind of gives you a little idea what it's like to be camping out in the desert in these long-term visitor areas. 
So I'm going to cut back over towards that main road and then we're going to truck way out towards the mountains. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, here we go. See those mountains out there? That's where we're going to end up. You can come out here for it's a couple miles. I mean, it's quite a ways out here. The farther out you come, the least crowded. A lot of people like to congregate back towards that paved road and, uh, where all the facilities are. But if you really want to get out by yourself, you can come way out here. I just spot spotted the marker. Let me circle around here. Look how flat it is here, too. The areas are pretty well marked. Like, these guys are camping right on the edge. That guy right there. Let me show you. Circle here. There's your marker. So you can't camp past that. Alright, let's head for the mountains. Now you can see where we uh, came out through here. We're quite a ways out. There's the dirt roads. All the way, there's La Posa South, all those white dots. <laughs> those are all RVs, thousands of them, and thousands more to come out here. And way, way off, that's quartzite. You can still see the outline of the big tent. <laughs> Shows you how big that thing is. Pretty cool. So, talk about being in the middle of nowhere. This is it. The big Arizona desert. Oh yeah, now let me swing around. You're going to see that new power transmission line. See those little squares? They're putting in power lines across the desert. That massive project. Those trails you can keep going way back in the mountains. There's old mines that date back centuries back here. But there you can see the power lines coming through the desert. So if you skirt along the front of the mountains, you end up all the way back over to Quartzsite.
fun buggy ride out through here too. Too many people don't come out this way, this far out. They'll stay a little closer to 95 and uh, the other side of uh, all the LTVAs. See all kinds of rocks. It's pretty out here. I love coming out here. Wow, look at this transmission line. It, now we're getting a closer look. Massive project. So, I've been out that road to the right. We'll do that again. I'll wait after the shows. Well, it's so busy out here. And a little warmer weather. It's a little chilly riding today. But we'll cut along the power lines here. Look at this. They actually cut little access roads back to each tower. I think they use like helicopters to set the tower itself and stretch them lines. Incredible. And look at that dusty nugget. It is definitely dusty, isn't it? <laughs> Running good, though. Wonder what the cost is to put something like that in. Could be huge. Sure, change this landscape. Yeah, there's history dating back into 15, 1600s. The Spanish being here, mining for silver and gold. Then all through the 1800s, more mining. You can see the washes, see the green. That's because they get a little water. But them washes can flood. All that water comes boiling off the mountains. Tons of gold out here. Rocks. Rock hunting. This is what you do in the desert. going to keep making my way back towards town. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day out here riding through the desert. Coming up all kinds of cool stuff. Got quite a few uh, businesses that want me to show their products during the big tent. We're going to focus on that. And the big one will be electric bikes. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>